Welcome back to Tea Time with Aloha and Coco, guys. I'm Vicky. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to click the subscribe button down below to be part of the Tea Time family. Why is it? I love you. Why is it that whenever I'm prepared to sing along with her, she stops? Girl, are we a girl group or not? Anyways, so guys, I am really excited about today's video because today's video is all about taking a furniture piece and turning it into a dramatic play center for your kids. Now, you know how much I love creating dramatic play centers for my kids, and if you don't know, that's because you're not following me on Instagram at Tea Time with Aloha and Coco. Um, so yeah, I love taking furniture pieces, and I love taking things that you wouldn't necessarily use for one reason, and kind of like unconventional challenges. I just love them. I decided to go on the hunt for a furniture piece on Let Go, Offer Up, Craigslist, whatever, and I ended up finding the perfect entertainment center that I was looking for for $25. Picked it up, and then along with my husband, we um, converted that into something magical for the girls. So I, um, we did this conversion two years ago, so it's a little bit aged, um, like the, I didn't have this camera. I had to film everything on my phone. So you're gonna see that the quality is a little bit less, but the process and the idea is there. And that's what's important to be able to offer you guys step-by-step -step guidance as to how to recreate that. So um, why keep talking? I do too much of it. Let's get into how I took an entertainment center and turned it into Starbucks. Yeah. Using this furniture piece as part of my DIY Halloween project and this is the before it is an entertainment center and I'm gonna be converting into something completely completely different okay everyone so I'm gonna be telling you guys exactly what I'm doing finally so we are going to be making a Starbucks my daughters are Starbucks baristas this is mine that my husband got for my birthday I'm so excited so they're gonna be baristas and this is gonna be our Starbucks so um, I decided to share this with you guys before we start removing doors and painting because it's going to be a lengthy process. So I'm going to show you basically how it looks before, how it's going to look without doors, how it's going to look painted, and then once we add all of the accessories. So I'm going to be sharing what we're going to be doing. We're going to remove these doors, paint the trim in black to give it that like freezer look where you get the cake pops at Starbucks. So this is going to be that freezer. And then we're going to add a, a different countertop and paint it all. So now we're gonna talk about color. Now my nail polish, although it's very red, it, it kind of resembles the wine color of the furniture piece. So I wanted to go with something dark and brown. So I went with Sweet Molasses from uh, the Bear Company. For the countertop, we had different options. We could have done like like uh, the stickers and stuff like that, but I wanted to give it that feel of like wood or like a granite. So we went to Home Depot and I ran across a ton of stuff and I ended up pick picking these Lawrence Chestnut, this is the tone, Lawrence Chestnut. And these are, um, these are samples and they have a whole bunch of boxes of all these samples so people can take it and put it on their floor, like their, their house and kind of pick the wood floor they want. So I grabbed this one because it was the closest. I picked this first before this. They had like a white wash floor, which I liked a lot. However, it didn't look too Starbucks-ish. So I went with this one and it went great with this paint, which I love. So this is gonna be the countertop. I also picked up this really thick, um, round wood piece and I'm gonna be painting it like the Starbucks logo and then we're going to basically attach it to the side of the furniture piece. I mean, it looks huge now, but it's perfectly measured. Then it came ta time to do the uh, cashier section and I picked up these little, um, they're like pencil holders for the office from the Dollar Tree and I'm gonna stack them up like one on top of the other like a little staircase to create the illusion of the gift card section. And as far as the details, I don't want to give too much because then it's going to kill the illusion. But I made these cups. I purchased those tumblers. Um, I bought little uh, blackboards. Custom Made Miami always pulling through with like the decals and stuff. Thank you, Custom Made. And I can't wait. So drawers are out. We removed all of the little hinges and everything. And then this, I turned it to uh, the Formica side. So it kind of looks like wood a little. And um, we're gonna start the sanding process and then paint tomorrow. So we basically sanded all of the furniture pieces after we took them apart so that the paint better adheres to this. So this is the color painted on the furniture. Some of it, as you can see, is um, dried. The other areas are wet. Um, we had two options. My husband was gonna like uh, spray paint it 
with a machine that he has for spray painting. Although it would have been ideal to spray paint it with a spray gun, the professional spray gun, gun my husband has. Um, it is raining outside. It's about to start raining outside and uh, we're in a bit of a time crunch. So we just went down like the, just painted by hand. So right now I'm painting the Starbucks sign. This is, she's painting another sign. So I basically, Think that this is gonna be the piece that ties everything together okay so I'm still missing obviously a lot like this arm looks bigger than that one like there's a lot of things I have to fix but I have to say it's coming up pretty amazing can't wait to finish it and add it I'm not gonna show you guys a table just yet because it looks too good I got to show you everything together so now I took some canvas that I'm basically gonna drape over the top of the uh, cash register almost so that it creates the illusion of like a bakery to give it more of a bakery feel so my intention is to cut it and then I'll draw like a strip in green leave one in white strip in green um, to give it that like Starbucks feel and it'll also match with the Starbucks sign I made so just use like a bowl to cut these so I just finished cutting the scallops now I'm painting some strips in green and some in white let's see how it turns out Okay, so I'm still missing to paint this, but I wanted to see how it looks so far. So we got the cups. I'm still missing a couple of props down here. And then we have the bookshelf with the tumblers. So still missing a lot of detail, but I think it's going to come out amazing. Here you have it, the final product. Our handmade Starbucks with lights everywhere because the trunk or treat will take place um, late afternoon into the evening, so lights for everything. So I wanted to add lights to the cabinets because it's supposed to be the freezer. Uh, not the freezer, but kind of like the dome-shaped freezer, the refrigerator type of thing that they have where they carry the brownies and the cake pops. So I'm gonna buy real pastries tomorrow from Starbucks and put them in there. So now I'm gonna show you under the table, the cashier area. So my daughter hand-painted that art piece and we just used it as a canvas to hold the bags. We have gift cards, straws, how are we doing little pamphlets, and more. We have baskets with a whole bunch of like healthy, um, organic foods, things that you would find at Starbucks, the collectors, um, collector bins from Starbucks, and some boom chicka pop. So that is the process on how we converted into that. Now I'm gonna give you guys after pictures. This is us using it like on full display, putting it out so people can come and view it, the girls enjoying it. So these are pictures of that process. So as you guys saw, this has been a hit. We ended up using it, not only for the purpose of the trunk or treat, which we used it for, but we ended up using it here in our neighborhood. We did lemonade stands, we did hot cocoa bar. I don't know, we just, we, we have not stopped using it. I even put it up for sale because of the storage purpose, because it is large. Um, and I had a couple of people offer me money for it and I just couldn't do without it. Like, I'm in love with this furniture piece, guys. Like, this was like our hard work, like literally our hard work day in, day out, like, you know, a few hours every single day. So I couldn't, I couldn't give it up. So I hope you guys find this entertaining. From the looks of it, Miami will be under quarantine soon again because you guys just wear your mask. Anyways. So um, I thought this was a great opportunity for you guys to do something similar with your kids at home. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Until next week, and actually Sunday we have another tea time recipe and then another vlog video on Wednesday or DIY. I don't know. Let's see what happens. Bye.